What's up everyone, it's Tin here, your no-code AI automation expert, and today we're going to take a look at the MCPs or model context protocol. So if you want to learn more about model context protocols, if you're new around here, and if you want to implement this within your own business or personal life, this is the video for you. After watching this video, by the end, you will understand MCPs, how you can use them and how you can leverage them. So let me first give you a glimpse into what an MCP really is and kind of to simplify you what the MCP really is. So MCP or Model Context Protocol was first mentioned on 25th November 2024 by Anthropic from Claude. So if you know Claude, you know Anthropic. Um, Claude is LLM, large language model from Anthropic. So uh, as you can see, they said they're uh, announcing an open source um, model context protocol, which is a new standard for connecting AI assistance to the systems where data lives. So essentially what this means is that MCPs are kind of like a USB's uh, hub. So, and in that hub, you can put as many as you want tools, like for example, Google Calendar, Gmail, uh, you know, WordPress, whatever, right, you want, and as many APIs as you want. So, uh, one of these, um, one of these, like Phil Schmidt, I think, yeah, this is his blog, and he explained MCPs in a really, really uh, simple way, and I really like uh, his take on it. So as you can see, think of it like USB for AI integration. So before standards like USB, connecting peripherals required mass of different ports and custom drivers. So this is exactly what is happening right now in the AI world. Usually we had different tools that were connected to an LLM like Claude, like ChatGPT, uh, and you could connect this within N8N, uh, but now what's happening is you have an MCP as a middle, uh, like a hub, a hub for every tool. And then whenever you want, let's say you're in LLM like Claude, and whenever you want to call out a tool, you simply uh, go and you ask MCP and MCP will do everything for you. So that's what we have right now. And it's all in a unified API that goes straight into LLM. So you can use tools in a much easier way. So let me show you, uh, I have a couple of uh, examples here. So this is first example in NA10. This is an MCP server trigger. What does that mean? It's basically a server that has a bunch of different tools connected to it. And what we can do is we can connect this server to Claude, for example, or ChatGPT. Right now, you can connect this to Claude. I'm not sure exactly how you can connect this to ChatGPT, but in the future, we will be able to connect this with many uh, LLM or large language models. So as you can see, if we, um, obviously, if you wanna add this, you can add it right here. You just type in MCP and you have MCP client or actually MCP server trigger. We'll also cover the client tool as well and how that works and uh, yeah, how that goes into this entire picture. But uh, yeah, we have a server trigger right here and we can actually click on it. And as you can see, we have a test URL and we have a production URL. So if you wanna put this into production, so let's say right now it's currently in production, it's active, you wanna make sure you're copying this URL. Now, how can you actually connect this MCP server trigger to Claude? I will show you that in a second. I just want to show you how you can add these tools to this specific server trigger. So as you can see, you can add Gmail, you can add Google Calendar, Google Drive, whatever tool you want, you can just click here and you can even call another NA10 workflow, but this is for a more advanced, advanced, um, you know, people uh, later in the later video. So Right now, as you can see, if I want, I can call out the MCP server trigger in Claude. And again, I will show you how to do this. And I can say, hey, can you check my calendar events for this week? And it will check my calendar events based on this tool right here, right? And as you can see, if we go in this tool, uh, for example, this tool has many different use cases. I can even create uh, events, I can delete events, I can get events, I can get many events, like information, retrieve information from many events, I can update events, and I can also do custom API calls. So I won't get many because I wanna get many events in here and I wanna retrieve many events 
uh, within the MCP server. Now, as you can see here, we can also sign in with Google. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, for each of these tools, it's very simple uh, sign up process. So once we have this, once we save this, once this is active, we can go here and copy this production URL. Now, if we go to Claude, and by the way, for this, you will need to download a Claude desktop app in order to actually go and in order to use this on your desktop. And again, for Mac OS or Windows, it will be pretty much similar. So you go to Claude and this is how it's going to look like right here. So let me actually go and start new chat here. And by the way, you don't have to have a premium version of Claude. I have a free plan right here, as you can see. Now, as you can see, if I go here, you can see that all of these tools that I just mentioned in NA10, they are right here and they are right here as MCPs. So as you can see, Claude can use these tools provided by specialized server using model context protocol. And as you can see, those are the same tools that I have right here. So how can you connect those two? You go to Claude, you go to settings and you wanna go to developer settings and you wanna make sure you're editing a config file. So you wanna click on edit config and you will get this right here. So what you wanna do here is you wanna click on this file and this file will open up in a code editor. For me, it will be Visual Studio Code right here, as you can see. And once I open this file, let me just go here. Let me actually break this down. So you wanna copy and paste this specific um, code and this specific code calls out the MCP servers from N8N with this command, with these arguments. SSC is just the way how these uh, are connected. And then as you can see, this is my uh, production URL or our production URL that we want to paste it here. So we pasted that production URL, which is coming again from here, from here, because we want to be able to connect that production URL with Claude somehow. So we, after this is done, we just hit save, command save. We exit out of this and we restart Claude. So want to go here and you want to quit and restart. Also, if you're adding multiple different tools after you did this to NA10, you want to make sure you restart Claude again. From there, we want to go here. And as you can see, we have NA10 and it's currently running. As you can see, when it's running, it's pretty much done. But when you're adding this configuration for the first time, you just want to enter a name for the um, configuration. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So once this is running, I can go here and I can say, can you check, can you use the calendar tool and check the Google calendar tool and check what meetings do I have this week. And as you can see, I will hit enter and now Claude will communicate with my, as you can see right here, allow tool with my N8N uh, MCP server as you can see, and here it's basically giving me meetings for this week. So I have one meeting today. I have uh, two meetings on Saturday, right? Or actually one meeting on Saturday. And then on Monday, I have also one meeting. So this is how these MCP servers are connected with Claude, with LLMs like Claude. And this is how you can communicate between those MCPs. Now, right now, I probably, you know, you probably already understand how this works and it's very powerful. Now, there is also another way how you can do this. So the same, the same way how we're connected with Claude, the same way we can get connected to our MCP trigger in uh, NA10. So as you can see, we have an AI agent in NA10 and that AI agent is connected to an open router chat model. This is basically a chat model. It can be any chat model, but since we are doing this on Claude Sonnet, uh, specifically 3.7 Sonnet, this is the best way to do this uh, and the best way to actually connect these MCPs. Because as I told you earlier, uh, model context protocol is from Entropic. So naturally it's better to use Entropic AI models to connect with these tools. So as you can see, we have a chat Right here, we have an AI agent that is connected to an AI uh, model or LLM, and then we have an MCP client. Now this MCP client, we can add this as a tool. And if we go here, this is the MCP client tool. 
and we added this as a tool. And as you can see, we pasted our production URL from this server trigger. So what does that mean? We go here, we copy this, we paste it right here, and now we have an AI agent that we can create apps and workflows and automations with based on our MCP, which is right here, or MCP server in this case. So essentially, right now from here, we can build applications. So just like I was asking um, um, Claude uh, last time about my meetings, I also asked uh, this uh, model right here, which is also Claude 3.7 Sonnet, I also asked that specific model for the meetings. And as you can see, it gave me the meetings right here for this week. And keep in mind, you can use this to build uh, pretty much any uh, apps and any, uh, you know, uh, NA10 workflows within NA10 with these MCP uh, servers and MCP clients and MCP models. So it's very powerful. Right now, what I can do is I can create a whole assistant that has access to all of these tools and even more with this particular trigger. And I can even add a voice feature with Telegram, with maybe Lovable. I can connect it with Lovable and add that voice feature as well. So as you can see, that's how MCP clients work. And that is in a nutshell for a beginner. If you're a beginner and if you're watching this, you're most likely are if you're watching this, uh, then you know this is exactly how you can communicate with MCP clients, with MCP servers and with other LLMs. So again, uh, if you wanna learn more about AI, if you wanna join the AI revolution, how I like to call it, you can uh, feel free to join our school community. We have a lot of different members and a lot of different things coming to our free school community, uh, specifically templates. Uh, and if you want something else, something more, we have a premium community where you can join and where we will teach you more in detail about MCPs, uh, you know, creating no code softwares and SaaS, um, advanced AI automations and much, much more. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it useful. And if you did leave a like down below, subscribe, it would mean a lot to me and a lot to other people as well, because you know, other people can see this video as well. Um, but yeah, if you have any specific questions, comment down below or join our school community where we will help you out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video.